What's up YouTube? Melalite and Matt here. So we are now back for episode 9 of the Let's Play. And we are now fighting for our revenge. So last week we had last episode we had Masaru picking up our feelings for it not going well. And now we want our revenge on Tatsuki. You. Tatsuki, I'd like you to fight me. I don't care about who wins and who loses. I just want fine. What? Why don't you show me your vanguard? So here we go. We're doing our fight with Tatsuki now. Right. So we go second. And look at the hand. Want to return my Travis's and my crit. I've got a spare beautiful. Oh, he's a chaos user. Interesting. This is fun. It's gonna be fun. Alright. So Scarred you. I'm gonna use your skill first. Because I want to get the shield out of the deck before having to use the skills. And uh, decrease the chance of actually having a weapon in there. They're drawing a weapon for the draw. Never mind. It's the sword though, so it's not too bad. And the main phase, let's start swinging. Oh, I see the little glitter symbol. That's in. That's nice as well. Bridge comes to Liga. So what I can do actually is if I end up guarding, I use the effect crypt to guard with. So it gets it in drop ready for Barb Saga to call it back out. There's one chaos gone to damage. So we're not in a bad spot. Skill had sword. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this actually counting the different card names in his soul? No, it's not, oh, it's just the grade. It's just got it there because it, it's different colour because it is the glitter. Okay, I like that. Gun Gun and Lamb Soul Chargers. Wow, he's swinging strong out the gate. So, yeah. Guard you. Wait, is he left himself? He's gone down to no hand. Okay, okay. I see you, Tatsuki. Okay, that helps. I'll take this one as well. Because it still puts me there at a point where I can actually heal down on my turn attacking. I think I drew yet another arm as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm just drawing constant arms at this point. So I'm going to have to actually take a lot of damage this turn. Unless I can heal down. No, I get a grade 3. Okay. What's shield? He heals. Okay. This... So Tatsuki's definitely going to be a hard one.
Yeah, let's take it. Get our screenshot. <laughs> Just don't crit. Yeah, got screenshot. Screenshot gamers. Uh, okay, guess I'm going to end up going to four then. I think I might remove one of the swords in my deck actually, cut down to two. Because now I'm not doing the filtering with the grade twos anymore. Having all these short shields isn't swords isn't actually helping. So cutting back on the shield might actually help a little bit. Okay. What did I draw? Okay, we'll dro drop one of our swords, because we don't need this many swords. Alright, so we're gonna start off with activating our spear. And Bob Sagra. So I'll charge in a crit. And from what we've got at the drop, we're going to grab you. Okay. And we'll pop you behind the vanguard so we've got pressure. And pop you down here and Bob Sagra, so I'll blast the ride line. Take out the front row, gain the critical. Then we can use you. And cat blast one, bring back the ride line grade one behind the other side. Which then actually, if we use the insult crit, it makes it a 10k booster. So we're actually hitting magic numbers across the board. Because this will take a 15k shield out of him. Which he chooses not to guard, meaning his hand's not the best. But he hits a draw, so yeah. Good hat sword, move it to soul, and we're going to choose you to gain the power. So it's still a 10k shield for that side, plus any triggers we get. Oh, no guard, okay. Draw trigger. So he's more like around a more defensive to actually survive. Yeah, so Bob Saga comes in, sets everything on fire. No defensive there. And no defensive there. Unless you predicted that I wasn't going to get a crit. But that doesn't seem like a NPC move. Okay, he actually did just predict. Fair enough. That's fine, because that means next turn we can declare our final turn and get the points. I would want to play payoffs on this for the fact of actually the counting of the 13 different car names in Seoul. Oh, took out my grade 2. Interesting. Soul Charles the over trigger, so that's one thing I ain't got to worry about now with him. So Makani is going to be restanding. So we'll might as well use our shield now to get that over that turn. Because it's nice, simple 10k shield at that point. 
I don't have to worry about starting anything else. Akali's gonna activate. Chaos is activating. Everything gaining 10k. Akane will activate. Stand himself. Use the content guard though. And we're gonna discard the spear because we don't need that spear. First or check good. Second or check good. Critical tra <laughs> and power going all on Makani, okay. Kinda of prefer you put it there, because that means the other side's so that 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 take that to block that. That puts the trick moon in the drop for the extra little bit of boost behind the vanguard for the final sound push. Can take this. I'll go to five. And we get a draw. Our Vanguard for all it's worth. So he's got two card hands, so he can't live on it. So Makani now moves to Soul as well. Final turn! Personal Idol! Let's change our arms over. We'll soul blast out the crit in case we need it for the drop. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to worry about the cat charge then. We'll just call it over there. And just so it's got something in front of it, so we can actually dress boost. And let's have the pressure. And Soul Blast 2. Alright, battle phase time. Let's start swinging. Swords power to give me an extra six, uh, 10k. He comes and guards, that's fine. First check, no trigger. Second check, no trigger. Nineteen, twenty-nine, thirty-nine, that's thirty-six. But this one's actually the weaker side. Because the dress boost. Oh, God. It's called Trigger. We beat Tatsuki. Mr. Zeren Zephyr VTuber guy. I see. So you figured it out. Masuro told me, actually. Master who did? <laughs> I see. That's right, the ultimate vanguard that I seek is a fun vanguard. To enjoy the thrill of the fight without being bound to wins and losses. That's what Gensetsu san taught me. Yes, I understand that now. I'm looking forward to the day when we that we fight again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Strength to give your all for others and a fun vanguard, man. BP boost! Yes! Pack farming can make it easier. And we've got Tatsuki's deck. Alright. Let's do the little bit of story. See what he wants. I see. That's too bad. Yeah. Don't cry, Ross. 
it's not like we won't be able to keep playing Vanguard. Master is right. We can still just fight together again. But I okay, get you want to what you want to say, Rasp, But we lost. We can't survive as a team now that we've lost. Do you understand that? Oh, welcome. Huh? Huh? Who is it? It's Tatsuki's team. Tatsuki, can I earn Yui too? What are you doing here? Team Dragon Moon has disbanded. We're here to let you know. Huh? Tatsuki, what happened? You guys won on the match yesterday. Yes, we did. So in that case, he said to us, well, I found someone who enjoys Vanguard more than me. Huh? M me? Ichidoji, what's going on here? Well, I just had to fight Tatsuki again yesterday, and so... That's right. It's been a long time since I had fight that good. I see, so that's how it is. Tatsuki! I believe that Yuki here is the true vanguard of the next generation. Thinks that she's a suitable leader who I ought to follow. Tatsuki? Yuki, Tatsuki told us about Yessi. Sorry, Yuki. You didn't know that you were pushing yourself that hard for Masaru's sake. Kana, Yui. Will we able to fight? Be able to vanguard someday? No, someday soon, right, leader? Are you sure you want me as your leader? <laughs> Ichidoji. Come on, Yuki, please. We don't want you as our leader. We need you as our leader. Can you do that for us? Yes. The only one left now is... Mika! What? What's with all of you? Mika. What? Like I was saying, I'll never come back. I just figured I'd stop by. She's blushing! Welcome home, Mika. We were waiting for you. She's proper blushing! Mika. Mika. For me and everyone else here, this is where it all starts. It's all going to start. We can't do it without you, Mika. Will you join us? Huh? Huh? Masaru? Uh, when you one telling me not to cry just now? That, that, that's not what it is. These aren't tears. This is, these there are uh, fight juice. <laughs> uh, no, fight sweat. I wouldn't have a sweat for all that fighting. What an awful liar! <laughs> Shut it. Uh, Masu's going all teary eyed over me. Is the last thing I wanted to see. Fine then. Guess I'll have to join you. Really, Mika? Fine well, then, it's time to show you what real fight sweats look like. Time for the Setsugetsu Cup formation commemorative cup hosted by yours truly. You all better be ready. Hey! <laughs> Guess you'll be renting the whole place out today. Oh, here are our next candidates. Let's see. Hmm. None really stand out to me. Huh? Yuki Ichidoji. Setsugetsu Cup. I've decided. Ooh, a mystery man. We've gained... We got money! We got money! We got the maples! <laughs> Alright, let's get, grab some packs. Um, I think we're going to go set five at this point, actually. See what we can get. So I do still want to build Tamiyura up. I'm literally debating back and forth between Tamiyura and Zorga at the moment. So I'm just getting packs of both. See where I go. Oh! Well, I got a Forktail. Plus also the Counter Heal's a nice grab from this set as well. So it's still not a bad pick up. Amazing Frost. So a nice bit of Chaos. We got a Secret <laughs> Well, the 10th anniversary one. Okay. Oh, we got our foil counter heal for Dragon Empire, so that's a good bit for us. Oh, we got Uifna. I think we are going to have to dive set two at some point, though, to get the Dragonic Overlord base support that to go with all the ends that we keep pulling. Oh, we got a Tamiura. Nice. So we're getting somewhere quite nicely with the deck.
All right, uh, let's. Uh, we've got no more free free fights dotted around. Nope. Cool. So we're gonna go see. Let's go see what Mika's got to say. Hello. Where's Russ? It seems like he's not here yet. I'm sure he'll show up soon enough. Anyway, you came at the perfect time, huh? What do you mean? What finally arrived? It's for you. Wait, isn't that? What is it? Ah! Come on, Ichi Doji. I can't believe there's a there's a Vanguard fighter who doesn't know what this is. What? You see what the, that is? Actually, we pass you just to watch. Day has come for powerful fighters to come to claim glory once more. It's the Berserker! Challenge! I'm Assistant Taiji Ar Arakawa. And I'm Noi Taito. As always, we're going to dig up amazing fights from across the country. Will the challenges be able to claim glory at the end of their fights? We hope you look forward to it. Well, this is the whole thing. Hello, everyone. Vanguarding, as always. Kanji Megulo. President of Berserk, a national card shop chain. His overwhelming charisma commands respect from everyone around him. Kanji Megalo? He hosts these videos and is the owner of Berserk, a nationwide card shop. He even runs a card supply business. What a CEO! His videos mostly provide lots of different information about Vanguard. But this segment is super popular with fighters. If you can beat Kanji in a fight, you get an incredibly rare card. Wow, this is a whole thing? I watched these videos a hundred times. I've even subscribed to the channel. Yeah, me too. Even you, Mika? Y yeah, but I'm not like a huge fan or anything. She's blushing again. Oh, he's seeing a completely different side of Mika now she's joined the team. You sure know a lot about this guy. Of course we do. He's a former member of Setsu Getsuka, after all. What? This guy was in Setsu Getsuka? I don't remember much beside him being really strong. He never talked when he was in the team, like a true lone wolf. He seemed like a completely different person now. I didn't know you had someone like that in the team. Well, everyone did go their separate ways when Go Setsu san vanished. I didn't know what he got up to after that, but just look at him now. Man, I'm so jealous. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Next one to defeat me. It's going to be an emblem holder just like you. Oh, so this is... That's right, that's the invitation letter to the Berserk Challenge. But why me, though? Why else? Because you're good. You've been on a winning streak even though you only started that other day. Hi. I didn't tell anyone, but I was trying to get an invitation myself. A rookie like you? What was that, Mika? <laughs> Nothing. So, Yuki, huh? You really ought to give it a try. Now we'll make, not only will it make our team famous, you'll get a gilded rare card too. Think of how happy Gosetsu-san will be when he picks it up at the, in the store. I'm sure you can beat him too. Don't do it. Huh? Gosetsu-san? Don't do it. Why not? Wouldn't it make you happy? That's not what I mean. I've heard rumours that fighters who challenge him go missing. These rumours are true, then. <laughs> huh? Come on, go Setsu san Don't mess with us like that. That's just some joke that other jealous shop owners go got fighters to spread. Hmm. Well, I have no reason to say no if it's if that's true. But is there something else? Not exactly. What about you, Ichi Doji? This is your choice more than anyone's. Me, I, I think I'd like to give it a try. <laughs> hey, thought you might say that. You might as well have go have fun since you managed to get this invitation, Mika. <laughs> anyway, I want to see your vanguard again. So do I. Just how far can a brand new fighter go? I can't wait to fight out. 
plan out. Would you be willing to show me? Tatsuki-san? Okay, I'll do it. That's what I wanted to hear. You gotta do it, Lina. Thanks, everyone. I'll give it my best. Uh, Gosetsu doesn't seem happy with this. Oh, so that's the main fight there. And we've got two free fights. So what I'm going to do, because we've got just enough time, I'm going to quickly deselect skill, swap to my U1. So I'm draw, I'm draw VP boost. So we now get double uh, 1.5 times boost to any VP we get in the fights. So pack getting comes a lot easier. And we're going to quickly do the fight against Mika. So then next time we can start off with the Berserk fights. Okay, this is good. Hey, Mika. Tuning your deck? Something like that. Now I'm taking a good look at myself. I thought I'd look at my deck too. Mika, so what do you say? About what? A fight. I don't intend on losing to anyone now. Hey, that's my line. I'm not planning on losing either. Okay, let's dig in. So this is going to be against Kyrie again. So this is going to be a fun one. Oh, we lost the rock, paper, scissors. That's fine. Alright. Alright, so we've got our sword to start with. And we've got Adala to actually speed up the equip. So we'll put all them back. Nice, we've got our grade one to discard as well for calling back off of... Oh, I forgot that's going to activate at the beginning of each fight now instead of actually when I drive my draw triggers. And she starts out strong with Eileen off of Nanami. We'll discard you. Oh, I keep doing that. Didn't get punished though. I need to get into the habit of actually using grade one and going second first. Just so I... Because I actually did have it once, I think in one of the previous episodes, where I drew the shield off the starter skill. So it was like, well then. Alright, Vanguard or the attack or... That's a board. Uh, card place on top. Okay, that means that's definitely a trigger. And using Cure skill to bounce the error. Oh, more draws. But I'll take this one. I'm not going to fuss over chucking a stupid amount of guard to block it. But all it is is one damage. Critical to Liga. And then draw. Use you. Discarding my shield. And use this to add the shield back. And then just swing Vanguard. No card off. My trick is my Persona Ride. So turn 4 kill is still looking very much alive. Oh. And here comes the Kyrie. Yep, set Silla's counter blast and draw. Not surprised. And that oh, she is really going all out. Okay, 
And then Eileen is going to stack the top card. Beautiful. So that's another trigger. I'll pop that on the shield. And now because she's grade 3, that'll be a nice 10k. Then this will swing in. She'll use Kyrie's skill to bounce the column. Which I'm not going to bother guarding. Yep, there's a critical trigger. Crit. And power. And a draw. She's really going out. Guess I'll be using one of my perfect guards to block the the air because I don't want to go to five. Let's have a check. First check's the perfect guard. Second check. It's a heal trigger, so actually ooh. So, still 20k shield though is the problem. I think I'm actually going to be sensible. Because she's not going to call anything that actually can hit over. That's only going to go to 15. I'll take that attack. Damage, push 3 to 4. Gives me a little bit of more play leeway with what I can play and kind of can't play with. Now I can run for Sagra. We can discard the shield. We'll then use this soul blasting out the ride line. So we've then got the ride line that we can call for with the grade two. So then soul charge. And call this behind the vanguard. Then we're going to add Dala. They'll do. It's Dala's counter blast. To grab our shield. And then call you down. Skill. Gain 10k. And call you over here. Uh, Buff Sagra skill next. I do need a way to soul charge next turn though, otherwise I'm not going to get to another Buff Sagra skill. Enter Battle Phase. So we're going to swing you first, force out a bit of shield, or you take it, that's fine. Oh good, that's the center right now. And then we'll swing in for 36, with the crit. Which obviously she's going to perfect up. First check is Bob Sagra. Heal trigger. So we do get to heal. I think we're going to heal the perfect guard. Just for the fact that it's an actual great one of the drops at that point. That I might need, not needing. I'm not going to use the sword because it's not worth it. Because it's not, I'm not going to kill this turn. Plus, I've still got the sword as pressure for next turn. Oh no, percent all right, good. So Kinky's going to build soul by one, gain some power. Tetsuya so gets another draw. Um, no, I'm going to let that one go through. Let's 
Kretikov's Liga! Attacker sends Soul Blast about the column with the Kinky. Which means that she's in a good spot to constantly now just keep using Kinky to pay for Kairi. So that puts us to that. I'm going to chuck that down to be on the safe side. And now needs over trigger the pass. Oh, heal trigger, so we're not actually going to kill next turn anyway. That's fine. Means I'll have an extra turn to actually build up soul. Carl's place on top, okay. Being very likely defensive to shut me down a bit. So we're in a really strong position now, so I've got two power for guards, 15k, uh, 25k shield on top of it. Not going to worry about the... Those bits this turn, so I'll do a Dala first. Oh, got another source, so I can actually shoot to five. So what we'll do, is we'll then do this first. Force her to four. So there's her defensive that she's got. I will swing for 46 because the sword. Which obviously will force that a perfect guard from her. Trick Moon. That's actually really good because we, we can get that drop for a big dress boost. And resurrect with the uh, Vanguard. I don't need to actually get rid of the sword, actually. Because this has now got the pressure without risking any defensive. And still keeps me at four for if I want to heal. Okay. That's good. I'm happy with that. Here's the Persona ride. But now what's she going to commit is the question. There's the Kinky. And another Kinky. Oh, she's going to be doing five attacks. Don't use this shield for this one. Because it's not effective guarding. Do that for this one. She's going to do check of that. I'll place on bottom deck. Don't activate. And we're just going to straight up take this one. Because we're only at four. And it also shuts off any heals that can come in. Guys, getting a bit of a longer episode out of me again. Because obviously we're still going. But that makes up for the last couple that have actually been a little bit shorter. Because of how the story goes. Alright, so that goes to there. No, don't want the perfect guard. That puts one to pass. That'll make it. Over trigger to pass. Okay. Draw trigger. Come on, just no over trigger. No over trigger. No over trigger. Just no over trigger. Come on. Thank God. You didn't over trigger me.
Oh, that Kyrie screenshot cools down. Oh, she didn't have a lot of play. Okay, interesting. Zingado! And we'll get a Scarlet Sword. Alright. Eight card hand. Four damage. Screw it, we're gonna go for it. I'm Because we're actually in a very strong position at this point to actually get the final turn to actually pro probably go off. Oh. So we're gonna start off with you. Soul Blast and the Double Bath Saga. That there. Gain that. Pull you down here. And it's going to call you over the other one of you. And then activate your skill. We're going to grab the other Trick Boon from the bot drop zone as well. Alright, let's start swinging. Drop that hand. Let's take out Liga. How much you at? 58, so no, it'd be a 2 to pass, no. And now I activate my sword. Uh, yeah, I need to activate the sword to actually put the pressure on. Yes, I lose power off my Trick Moon boosting the rear guards. But I need the pressure. Best boost, gains 10k, but it's 53, so that's still big numbers to guard. Yes! Two damage! No! No, 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 don't do two, don't do two, don't do two, don't do two. Thank God. I'd have table flipped if it had been too. There we go, 4,400 VP. That was a close one. Guess I still have a lot to learn after all. So this is the level I'm at now. Both of us still have a lot to learn. We'll get stronger together. That's why everyone's here. I know we can do it. Tatsuki, Masulu, and all the old members of Setsuke Tsuka. And you, of course. What? Don't forget about me. Huh? Gosetsu, that was a good fight, you two. Gosetsu-san. Glad you made it back, Mika. Mika. Sorry. Suddenly running out the way I did. It's fine. Seeing that fight made me sure of something, no? I made the right move by leaving. Huh? Of course you did, considering how weak I was. Huh? Whoa, don't get the wrong idea here. What first got me thinking that you'd be all, all be fine if I wasn't around was the sight of you giving it your best. What do you mean by that? You don't remember? As far as I can tell, you're hungrier than anyone to win. That meant you've worked harder than anyone too. You tune your deck every single day in order to get stronger. Of course I do. That's just the natural thing to do. Does that go for your friends' decks too? Huh? You gladly gave Masaru and the others advice even when you had your hands full. 
Well, that's just a natural thing to do. That's not something just anyone is capable of, you know. That wasn't the only reason it got me thinking. That just that was when I first thought that Setsugetsuka would be just fine without me. Sound like an excuse after all this time, though. So you're always watching me, Kigo Setsu-san. That's, that's still no reason for you to vanish the way you... Mika! Masaru, what is this? You take a look at this deck. My own one that I thought was portable, but I still lose with it. <laughs> How's that any different from always? Go Setsu-san! Give me that. You need 15 soul ASAP to make full use of back... Master of Gravity, Barra, Magnus. One by riding from grade 0 to 2. One from each of your Deep Sonic Karai Chain. Two from Electro Spartan, so six in total. Nine more. Hmm. You have four supernatural extractions, but do you really use the effect? Better switch them out for cards to give you another soul charge. Like two or three copies of Pandemonium Tactics. You won't have to waste calls to soul charge, and you'll have more guard options. You can get four charges from Pandemonium Tactics. With five rearguards to soul charge, you should hit 15 by your first ride. If your opponent doesn't have any rearguards, there's no need to force 15. Might even be, might be better to hit 15 during your Persona turn. And if you take your Persona ride's front row power up and combine it with Baron Magnus call from soul, I think it will work out. You're amazing, Mika. Yeah, I'm shocked. Have you always given advice this good, Mika? Yeah, so what? Okay then, it's decided. Work here with me. Huh? You're caring, knowledgeable and skilled. You seem like the perfect person for the job. You say that, but I bet you're going to sneak off again on me, aren't you? I'll be here with you. I promise. I'll think about it. Ah, oh, Mika got offered a job. And you're amazing. Thanks to you, and I'll have an unbeatable deck. I'm so glad you decided to come back. Right, Ichi Doji? Yes, I'm really glad. How can you say you... How can you still not win when you've been getting good advice that good? I've already given up on that one. <laughs> hey, no one asked for your guys' opinions. Alright, I'm actually going to not open the packs now. Oh, card acquired. And we got two Herminia. Okay, so we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't done this already, please do like and subscribe. It very much does help the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.